good and bad being on the Oprah book club, but mm. the uh, the fact that Oprah's gone, there was this running joke, which wasn't really a joke, there's a whole bunch of people aren't going to learn about really cool books, potentially, because Oprah brought it to the masses. What is the... That's what you're here for. Yeah, well, that's why you're here. Mm. But uh, we have way more power than Oprah, clearly. Um, <laughs> Your what? chairs are more comfortable. <laughs> are they? <laughs> yes. What is the experience? Like, what did Oprah um, bring to you? Well... Oprah came about seven years after the book was published and after it won the Pulitzer. So it wasn't, a, I didn't have the, the Franzen problem of feeling that it was co-opted just as it was coming out. It had already lived its life to a certain degree and then it brought another readership to it. So um, I was happy about that. She, of course, used the show to, to highlight the intersex issue and you know, that's sort of in keeping with, with her philosophy. So I think it was good in terms of the book's social message. Um, and it, you know, I was I, I, I didn't complain uh, going to it. She'd chosen Anna Karenina the, the summer before she chose my book, so I, I didn't think I could complain that it was bad company to be in.